It's a holiday weekend at the Jersey Shore. The 35-foot Heather Nicole is returning to its dock in Sea Isle City following a 13-hour fishing trip on the Atlantic Ocean. A successful effort. On deck are 3,700 pounds of the targeted fish, black sea bass. Veteran commercial fisherman Eric Burkhaw Sr. has been keying on this species for 20 years. When did I start fishing? Probably when I could walk, but basically uh, during high school, my dad bought me a boot and I went fishing every day after high school and started making money and figured that's what I wanted to do. Black sea bass are common along the mid-Atlantic, but warming ocean temperatures mean they're being found in larger numbers and further north. Commercial fisheries in states like Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, and of course New Jersey, have seen numbers increase tremendously in the last five years. At the same time, catches are decreasing in states like North Carolina as the fish have slowly expanded northward. This time of the year, the black sea bass are running very heavily. So May and June is really a good month to catch black sea bass in our state. Once at the dock, the bass are sorted by size, small, medium, and large. They're weighed to make 50-pound boxes. They then get covered in ice and wrapped up in preparation for transport. This catch of fish will end up at several processing and distributing locations throughout the region, including New York and Maryland. So we try to spread out the product because when there is an abundance of fish in the market, the price is down. You catch more, the price is down. You catch less, the price is up. So it's like a catch-22, you know. More than 1.2 million pounds of black sea bass, valued at $3.6 million, was caught two years ago, marking a record year for New Jersey under the federal catch limits. But right now we're working on volume, and we're allowed, we're allowed two 4,000 pound trips a week, and that's per boat, so I have two boats. So in theory, I can catch 16,000 pound of fish a week, but I have not done that, and I will not do that because I want to spread things out. As with all fisheries, it's always in flux. But as far as quotas, scientists and regulators will continue to study the changing waters along the East Coast and adapt by adjusting catch limits based on fish abundance and other factors. I'm just doing my thing and the fish are gonna show up when they show up. Sometimes it's a little later, sometimes it's not. That's all I've ever done. What else would I be doing? Probably nothing. Mm -hmm.